Welcome to the Edgewonk Trading Journal and in this video I'll show you all the graphs that are currently available in Edgewonk 3 in February 2022 and I will provide a lot of tips on how to use Edgewonk most effectively. First of all you can choose between the light and the dark theme depending on your preferences. For now we may stay in the dark theme. And on the left hand side you will see a current breakdown, those are all the currently available features and the tabs and we are going to focus on the chart lab for now. First of all, you see our compare charts feature. So you have two slots side by side and you can pick any of the currently available charts if you want to compare them side by side. For example, we may choose the equity graph and we only want to look at the last 10 trades, for example. So we choose that in our filter. And then on the right hand side, we want to maybe choose our efficiency. Efficiency, I will come back to that later when we look at the graph here, but basically it shows you how disciplined you are and how often you break your rules. And in this case, we can see on the equity graph on the left hand side that it's overall an up and down for the trader, although he ended his last 10 trades slightly in profit. You can see that the efficiency had a dip in the beginning, so the trader broke his rules repeatedly, then it recovered and then eventually it also saw a dip in the efficiency. So it seems like this trader has a little bit room for improvement in his efficiency and probably once he starts being a little bit more disciplined on his trades and keeps following his trading rules a little bit better which the efficiency graph will pick up then also here is very likely to see an improvement in his equity and his account growth as well. By the way if you want to clear the filter you just go to the filter tab here at the top and then you can click on the X button and the filters are cleared. Now we want to move to the calendar. And on first glance, you will see a broad calendar for every month of the year and you see red or green days depending on your P&L for the day. Gray shows break even trades and break even days. If you want to zoom in and get a detailed view, you click on the top here of the calendar title of the month and then you can see you get a more detailed breakdown. You'll see how many trades were taken on that day and you'll see the P&L for that given day as well. Consecutive wins and losses is next. So Edgewonk shows you how many consecutive winning and losing streaks have you had. We are starting here with the losses and you can see that this journal has a consecutive losing streak of two and three trades. So this journal doesn't have a losing streak with four, five, six, seven or more losing trades in a row. And for three trade losing streaks, the trader lost here a total of 1,213.42 US dollar or account currency, whatever it is that you are tracking the account currency in Edgewonk. And this is a nice way to analyze how much money you are making or losing in winning and losing streaks. We can easily switch over to the winning streaks and you can see this trader had winning streaks of two trades, three, four, no five trade winning streaks. We had six, seven and eight winning streaks as well. And you can see how much money the trader made during those winning streaks. Custom statistics is one of our most favorite feature of our users and basically the custom statistics allow you to track whatever it is on your mind and see the performance and the impact on your trading performance. So here we have chosen custom statistic for mental and this journal is tracking and a trader of this journal is tracking his mental state. So he has tags where he had alcohol last night, he did exercise today, he was stressed overall, he slept bad, he had a good mood overall or he had a hectic day. And then for each trade that you're taking you can assign such a tag and then Edgewonk will very nicely visualize your performance, how much money you made or lost for those trades that have been tagged and they are completely 100% customizable so you could track a specific indicator, the market in general, your preparation, a pattern for example if you are trading technical or price patterns, you could tag confluence factors, different time frames, there are no limits what you could track for your trades. The drawdown tab shows you how close or how far away you are currently from your account top so right now, if you go to the very right, you can see we have a 0.16% drawdown. So this trader is trading very, very close to the account high, which we should be seeing in the equity graph in a moment.
We go next to efficiency and this is how well the trader is respecting the rules. So in Edgewonk you can tag your trades and you can say how well did you respect the rules or did you break your trading rules for your entries, for your exits or for your overall trade management. And then Edgewonk will show you how efficient are you with your trading, how often do you break your rules and how often do you stick to your rules. This is a very very important metric that will help you focus on the quality of your trading. The equity graph is next and you can see the drawdown graph already gave it away. We are trading close to the current all time high, which is good. You can choose between displaying the equity graph in terms of dollars, in account balance, percentage return or there are multiple as well. You have a few options here which are very interesting. So with the latest update we gave you the option to add a moving average to your charts. So the moving average here shows you the 20 period moving average. Right now you cannot change the settings so you can either choose 20 or 50. In the future we may make it um, changeable. But for now you can see that when your account graph is trading above the moving average generally that's a good sign. If you're trading below the moving average and your account is below the moving average it's a sign that you have uh, made recently a string of losses or had some big losses that brought you below your average. So very very interesting feature overall. Exit analysis shows you how close did the price come towards your target or towards your stop loss. So if you are tracking those metrics in Edgewonk and if you want to find out whether the price is coming close to your targets or not so much that this is your exit analysis. And then there are a few very interesting things that you could do with that. For example, if you see that the price is generally very low here on the updraw, which means the price is not coming close towards your target, maybe you are a little bit optimistic with your targets and maybe you could improve your win rate and you can realize more winners by just using a little bit of a smaller target and make it the target a little bit closer. Of course you can also analyze holding time and you see then the dots here you, and you can hover over those dots to get a performance um, information. By the way here on the right hand side we see an outlier and if you want to know what happened here you can first of all hover over this trade and then you see in the first point the trade ID which is 230021 and you want to know what happened here. So you can go here to our search trade idea filter and you type in the number 230021. You hit enter on your keyboard and then you can see the pop up comes up. This is what you did here. You can see the holding time. You can see an analysis. You can go to your advanced trade data. You can see screenshots if you have added them. In this case not but you can then later add them and so you can get information about individual trades. Performance by instrument is very interesting. So Edgewonk shows you all the different instruments that you have traded in your Edgewonk trading journal and then it gives you the performance breakdown. You can change the sorting. Right now it's sorted by instrument name and now it is sorted by the value. This is also possible for the setups. So in Edgewonk you can track all the different setups that you're trading and then you can see how well are they performing and you can very nicely compare them side by side. Performance by time shows you the specific weekday. So how well are Mondays performing versus Wednesdays versus Fridays. And you can choose between the weekday, between the month. So you get a, a breakdown between every month. And you could also go to hour of the day, which is most interesting for day traders. And you could see what are the best hours for you and when should you maybe stop trading or maybe investigate on why the specific period at 7 p.m. or 4 p.m. is underperforming for you. Performance by day shows you your last 50 trading days and for every day you get here a bar graph and you can very nicely see and follow your performance day by day and see what is going on. You can choose the date setting, you can switch between entry date and exit date. The R distribution is a very great feature which helps you look at the R distribution of your realized winners. So what we see here are intervals. So all the trades that have 2 to 2.5 R are in this category. And the R stands for risk multiple or R multiple. So you can see where do you have your biggest winning trades, do you have some outliers. So here are a few trades which have really high R multiples. The SQN shows you the system quality number based on setups and it takes into account some risk measurements and performance analytics and it shows you how well are your systems performing. Trade comments give you a breakdown 
of the comments that you assign to your trades. So right now we are on the trade management comments, but you can also look for your trade entries, for example. And then you see how well are the trades performing where you had a perfect entry versus how are the trades performing where the entry was too late, too early, or where you had an impulsive trade entry. And those tags are completely customizable, so you can track whatever you want here in your edge wonk and then get a very personalized breakdown. For example, on the exits, you can see this trade had all the rules. It was a Friday trade. You are too, you are scared and exited too early or you exited end of day. And then you can see how well is it performing. Trade management shows you how effective is your active trade management. A lot of traders have an issue with getting out of trades too early. So they are maybe in a winning trade, but then they don't have the confidence to write the winning trade and then they're exiting their trades too early. So this graph shows you exactly your actual performance. How much did you make with your current approach? And then you can compare it to how much money you could have made with a passive approach. And then you can very nicely see is your current approach working for you or not. And then finally, we also have the win rate over time. So Edgewong tracks how is your win rate changing over time. You can see in the beginning, he was trading at 77.78%. And then over time, you can see we had a little bit of a dip. But recently, ever since this low, you can see the trader has improved quite a bit. And his current win rate is now 67%. So this is a great feature that uh, helps you to also look at the quality or just the performance of your system and not only look at equity, but also look at different things. And those are currently all the different charts that are available in Edgewonk. We are always adding new things. We are making improvements and adjustments to current charts. So if your version maybe looks a little bit different, then there's a good chance that we improved the chart, maybe made some adjustments but overall, you should be able to navigate your way around it with this little explanation in the video. And if you do have any questions, make sure to check our FAQ, which you can find here under account and then documentation and help. Also, make sure to check our journaling course, which is completely for free. And the journaling course takes you by the hand and walks you through all the features that are available in Edgewonk.